Welcome to Nursing with Professor B. My name is Bridget. I have a master's degree in nursing education, and I am also a family nurse practitioner. In today's video, we will be covering frequently used medical abbreviations beginning with the letter A. In nursing, when you first start nursing, it's almost like learning a completely new language. They use different abbreviations, they use different lingo. Knowing what these medical abbreviations mean it makes life a lot easier. Before we get started though, make sure you hit the like button, make sure that you subscribe, and make sure you turn on that notification bell. Let's go. All right, common medical abbreviations. The letter A. So if you're in mental health nursing, you may see this. You will see AA or Alcoholics Anonymous. You will actually probably have to attend an AA meeting while you're in nursing school. The AA could also be the ascending aorta. This brings me to a very specific and important point that I wanted to make. When you are uh, charting, ideally write things out and abbreviate as little as possible. You are going to see other people use abbreviations and for that reason it is important for you to know what they mean but this is a perfect example. Um, I'll give you an example. One day I was reading a chart and um, COC could be cocaine as the abbreviation for cocaine or it could be the abbreviation for combined oral contraceptives. So that's why it's important to differentiate. That could be a simple misunderstanding. There was one time I was reading a chart and every other word was an abbreviation and it was really hard to decipher what this person was saying. So it's okay to use abbreviations sparingly, but your whole paragraph should not be an abbreviation. So AA, again, Alcoholics Anonymous or Ascending Aorta. Triple A is an abdominal aortic aneurysm. That can be very dangerous if they have an abdominal aortic aneurysm and it bursts, that is almost immediate death. ABD usually will stand for abdomen or abdominal or abdominal. So patient presents with ABD pain. ABG is arterial blood gas. So, oh, we have to get some ABGs on this patient, etc. ABN is abnormal. ABP is arterial blood pressure and AC is before meals. So you may see this on the chart in regards to insulin. ACTH is adrenocorticotropic hormone. So you may see in the chart patient may get out of bed ad lib. The way I remember this is it almost sounds like at liberty, right? And it is derived from Latin. This is a, well, this, both of these you will see frequently, especially ADLs, but ADH is anti-diuretic hormone. And what this hormone does, the process of diuresing is voiding, right? Getting fluid out. So antidiuretic hormone retains water. So antidiuretic hormone retains water. And that's why it appears like she either needs to go to the bathroom, but she can't, or she's holding it. So antidiuretic hormone retains water. Now this one you will see a lot, ADLs, right? Um, patient unable to do ADLs or is able to do ADLs. And what that stands for is activities of daily living. Activities of daily living. AKA, AKA is above the knee amputation. Just a little pearl of wisdom. I have gone sometimes to the hospital and um, patients with below the knee amputations or above the knee amputation. And in the chart, people have been charting that the dorsalis pedis is two plus for several days. So keep in mind, please never copy what another nurse has charted. That's illegal. Um, and sometimes people do do that. ALL stands for acute lymphocytic leukemia. And this is the most common kind of childhood cancer. It is pre predominantly found in children. AIDS is acquired immunodeficiency syndrome. I'm sure many of you are aware with AIDS, the abbreviation of that. AK is above the knee. AM, of course, is morning. AMA is against medical advice. And I wanted to know, you may see these um, all in caps or all in lowercase. The capitalization doesn't really change the abbreviation, so don't get thrown off if something is wasn't in all capitals. 
So AMA is a big one. Patient left AMA. Many times patients, whether they are unhappy with their care or they have, they just, for whatever reason, they want to leave the hospital, right? But they have not been discharged and they're not cleared to leave, then you will usually have to get them to sign an AMA form. And that means that they left against medical advice. So you see that, for example, patient left AMA at so-and-so hospital, and now he presents to this hospital. It's important to have this document on file because God forbid something happens to that patient, you could always say, well, it was advised that he not leave and he still decided to leave. AMB means that the patient is ambulatory. AML is acute myelogenous or monocytic leukemia. Sometimes we'll use these words interchangeably. And this type of leukemia is seen more often in older adults. And that's why I put this little older gentleman there. And then AMP could be ampicillin or amputation. So again, context is important. And whenever in doubt, just spell the word out if you're not sure. AMT is amount and ANS is the autonomic nervous system. This is one you'll see a lot, ANO. Patient is ANO times three or times four, depending on where you work. Sometimes now they're saying alert and oriented to person, time, place, and situation. Some are just alert and oriented to person, place, and time. So it just depends what your facility wants. And also, these abbreviations may vary depending on facility to facility. Some hospitals have their own lingo. So ANO is alert and oriented. AODA, alcohol and other drug abuse. Again, not that frequently seen, but just in case you see it. AMP could be auscultation and percussion or anatomy and physiology, right? But normally if you're going to see it in a chart, it has to do with auscultation and percussion. Appy is an appendectomy. AQ means it needs to be dissolved in an aqueous solution. ARC could be AIDS-related complex or the American Red Cross. ARDS is something that you do see frequently. It's acute respiratory distress syndrome. ASA is aspirin. ASAP is as soon as possible. You may also see STAT in a chart, but we are on the letter A, so we will get to S's eventually. <laughs> ASL is American Sign Language. AV is atrioventricular. AV is atrioventricular, such as the AV valve, right? And AVR is aortic valve replacement. A and W, alive and well. And those are all the abbreviations for today. Thank you so much for sticking to the whole thing. What's an abbreviation that you learned today that you didn't know of before? leave a comment below. And like I said before, make sure you hit the like button, make sure that you subscribe and make sure you turn on that notification bell. Until next time. Mm -hmm.